Uh, <coughs> Excuse me, Taylor. Why are we playing Dragon's Dogma when? Uh, Taylor, I asked you a question. <gasps> Why are we playing Dragon's Dogma one? I don't know because they basically just renamed or remade the first game, but they still made all the same fucking mistakes as the original. Fucking <sighs> <sighs> Chadwick. All right, so here we are as Chitara again. <laughs> Not looking as sultry as she did last time, but well, yeah, well, right. here I can get this dude. Just wearing the wrong armor. Glindir. So here's the deal. What's the deal with airline food? I, well, I have. Hold on. Do I have a? Do I have another hunter's bow? I can just give him. No. Oh, actually, I know how, how I can get one for free. Check this out. I got a cheat. I got a cheat. Check this out. I'm still pretty early on in the game, so like, in, at least in this one, I've since of I have since completed this game, obviously. But hold on, hold on. He wants a bow, so he's an elf, and he wants like a bow that's not an elven bow. Okay. Because he's like, I stink at bowing, so I need to have. Uh, another one who's not a Boeing. Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, I'm in the wrong place. So this is a this is a fucking pitfall of the game right here. As soon as I play this game, I have to complain. I'm sorry. But it's like I hate this bullshit of like, <laughs> like I go to the guild and then it's like, no, I can't access my inventory there. I got to go up here. They actually, in, in the update, though, um, made it so you can sell stuff from storage and shit, which is good. Oh, okay. good. Finally. Like, something that they should have. Let's see, equipped from storage. Like, what a fucking joke. <laughs> like, should have been... Should have been in the game, in the game from the, the beginning. Start. Yeah, from the beginning it should have been in the game. And even then, still, I'm pretty confident that they still don't let me... Yeah, look at it. In the item menu, you still can't optimize it or sort it by strength or defense. Like, why can't I do that? Sorry. I, I have to complain. I'm sorry because they fucked up the most basic shit in this game. It's fucking stupid. All right. You, I mean, you don't have to agree. You, know, you don't have to apologize to me. I agree. That's a pretty good throw. <laughs> Yeah, so he wants a foreign bow because he thinks he stinks with the elven ones. So we're just going to give him one. Even though an elven bow is like way better than a fucking normie bow, I bet. Probably. So he's going to go through like this rite of passage where he's like going to shoot, he, I'm going to shoot the bow type of thing. I'm going to shoot the bow. Yeah, so he's got to, he's like, would you show me how to shoot the bow? So I'll go show him how to shoot the bow later. Since I am a bow person also. Can I have some, please? Thank you. Mm. Alright. Now, there's a bunch of dumb quests we can do while we're here. I'm going to do one of them. Um, oh, here's one. Yeah, 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 yeah. She wants me to watch her house while she goes traipsing around like a like a minx. Mildred. So Mildred wants us to watch her house for like a week. While she's like out gallivanting yep. with the boys? Yeah, pretty much. I went the wrong way. So all you gotta do, you don't even have to watch her house. You can literally just go do anything. Yeah, I'll watch your house totally. Jesus Christ, you'll talk. <laughs> Alright, and now, we're going to go down here. I'm going to talk to Daphne. She's an orphan. She's got a, she's got a back story, though. Is it that she's an orphan? Well, she's an orphan. But she's actually a child of royalty. Mm. 
But she would, I forgot why they make her go into to being an orphan for some fucking reason. I don't know. They exile her? Is she a bastard? So she's got a twin brother who's like still living in royalty or whatever. Mm. So I'm going to donate and shit for this guy, Kendrick Lamar over here. And he's like, oh, Malcolm is missing. Where is Malcolm? In the middle. So now I gotta talk to the I gotta talk to the other children around here, and they're like, Malcolm told me that his pussy stunk, and then so he's washing it out in the river. Yeah. And then there's gonna be like some big troll there. Now this quest is really uneventful and stupid, but like it's um, kind of like phase one for like a another quest that we're gonna do here shortly, <clears throat> or like it's it's a preamble. It's a preamble. I gotta do this one before I can. Uh, do the other one. So where the fuck did Kendrick Lamar go? Where'd he go? Hello? Oh, there he is. Can't fucking see my eyes. It's so bright. Oh, he went exploring, you say. Kendrick Lamar so does not like there. it when they explore. So then we go over here, and he's like, I believe these are the crypts that he's exploring in. See, we'll have to see if we can find Malcolm in the middle of exploring these crypts. <laughs> so then we go down the vault, and there's nothing dangerous down here. And I mean that. Except for apparently that wall. I forgot where he's going. Is he up? Is he up? I don't fucking know. I don't think he's up. I think he's down below somewhere. Hello. All you hear, way off in the distance, is Malcolm going oh. hot to a spit on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just see him cr like crumpled up in the corner looking at a cell phone. <laughs> he's, like, <laughs> he's standing in the corner like he's from the Blair Witch. <laughs> <laughs> but he's standing there and he's just watching the hot to it. <laughs> <laughs> this is really funny. You like this new meme? <laughs> what? <laughs> and everybody's just like, what? <laughs> Alright, so <clears throat> we find this underground library. We have to, um, I guess as books. I guess as part of the main quest, we have to s rescue this magistrate guy from the prison. Mm -hmm. Which the whole that whole quest is a fucking dumb mess too, and you'll see that shortly. Because this game, like, they did not incorporate any like stealth um, options, and yet they've got this fucking stupid quest for. Like a stealthy for how like for stealthing and it's like why, <laughs> like you guys like didn't create stealth mechanics yet you're making me sneak into this prison to break a dude out so it, it you'll see it's completely clunky and dumb. <laughs> Kick the um, rat. Actually, I do need to remember that. Uh, I think that was my first seekers token. I think I have to remember that for this playthrough. You want? That's part of another side quest. So the it's the the Sphinx quest. You meet the Sphinx, and then you gotta do all of her riddles. Mm. And, and she's like, um, "Which bitch? Which one's the first time you got yeah, a secret token?" You have to go find the first location that you got a secret token, and that's one of them. Because now there's a finder's token, there and you gotta get it and bring it to her. Um, well, I guess while it's nighttime, we'll we'll talk to Brant because Brant uh, wants me to uh, talk to him at nighttime. I'm taller than he is. <laughs> is I will that, is say that a problem. I will say this is running a lot better. I mean, it, like on console, it wasn't terrible, but it, it does seem to be running better, like in town here. All right. So Billy, I know you're on the edge of your seat with this story in this game. Yeah. But I'm telling so you, far you uh, you skipped over everything. You said, but 
<laughs> well, I'm, gonna say, don't. I'm not. I'm gonna do this quest and then ignore it because you apparently don't have to be at the uh, the quest uh, place for the whole week. Yeah, well, that those are side quests, so I don't have to. Yeah, you don't I'm just telling you know. I'm just telling you what you're showing me here is very riveting gameplay. I know. I'm going to a town. I'm a bunch I'll, of I'm, people. I'm, I'm I, listen, them. I'm gonna get the boring ones out of the way because they're bad. I fully recognize that these quests are not good. By and large, I would say like ninety percent of the quests in this game are not good. Like they're not good. <laughs> Sorry. They're just not good. Because it involves either running and just getting something, or running between two far-off locations to talk to two people. And that's fucking it. Like, the quests in this game are shitty. <laughs> like, this quest I'm doing right now, this is the one where I'm talking about where we gotta go get the guy out of prison, right? Mm-hmm. Um, you're gonna see how fucking stupid broken this is, and how it doesn't make any sense. And, and the whole quest is, like, really uninteresting and dumb. Um, so we had to go find the crypts because we, we get the magistrate guy who's supposed to like, you know, he's been falsely imprisoned or some shit. I just want you to take that person and whip him off the, the fucking thing. All right. You, there's literally no consequences in this game. Like, I can do this and nobody will care. Oops. Oh, I dropped him. Hold on. Hello. <laughs> oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, wh what are you doing, ma'am? No. Nah. The only consequence is that she will be in the, uh... <clears throat> Um, there's like a, like, a, I don't know. Like the sorrow? It. No. <laughs> no. What is it called in this? I forgot what it's called. This. The Charnel House. So you can actually, the, the way in which the game works is you can <laughs> kill, like, crucial and important NPCs, and then they end up in the Charnel House, and then you have to go and revive them. Ah. <laughs> which is so dumb. But anyway, as I was saying... Part of it is, so we had to find the crypts because we, this magistrate guy is like a scholar. And he's like, I'll only leave the prison if you find me a place with a bunch of books. So coincidentally enough, there's a place with a bunch of books underneath the the, the town. So right now, like, I'm going into the jail. Like, I'm, I'm sneaking in right now. Like, I'm not supposed to be here. And sometimes these guys will get angry at me. Most of the time, they won't. <laughs> so... I'm being stealthy, kind of, only because sometimes when they see you, they're like, hey, you're not supposed to be down here, um, hey, hey, you. So, like, this dude, like, who's, like, they patrol around here, right? This, like, one of these other guys will see me, but I'm just trying to... Just kind of follow. Yeah, so... Yeah, see, now he doesn't care. So I'm breaking. I'm literally breaking this dude out of jail. So I literally just have to spam this because like they come at you in real time. <laughs> if they oh, okay. if they trigger and want to come after you, so they will trigger in real time. So I just gotta skip all this. Good game. I know. This is what I'm talking about. This is the type of shit. And this other quest I'm about to do, you're, you're gonna see how stupid it is. Because we have to go into the to the castle to find. Um, and then I'm going to grab him, because otherwise it takes too long to get him out. Are you guys coming at me now? No? Are they coming? I don't think they're coming. Oh, I'm just going to leave. Why the hell did you throw him? Get up. <laughs> just pick you. So, yeah, so, like, I'm not supposed to be down there. And they, you yeah. could tell, they, they could see they did not give a shit. And I literally just broke a dude out of prison. I like the thing that, yeah, you come in, they're like, oh, hey, how's it going? I'm going to just take this guy. Yeah. Yeah, sure. And put him on your shoulder and whip him into the wall and then Is she back? walk out. Is this the person that I killed earlier? Yeah, I think so. <clears throat> huh. See? Like, okay, so I threw her off the cliff. Nobody, nobody, nobody cared. No. <laughs> nobody cared. They're like, yeah, yeah. it's life. Like that, the, that's the sort of like shit that they like for some reason did not think to. Uh, oh, maybe. Oh, like, oh no, I'm just near it. Never mind. Actually, it is worth going in here because there's free wake stones, I think. So, this is where all the bodies would be. Oh, okay. Um, so, but this, this is the kind of shit that I'm saying. They fucking like just completely ignored like 
certain things like in other games that like are kind of a given. Like if you are wreaking havoc and doing shit that you shouldn't be doing, you'd think that you'd get arrested. But in this game, no. Not really. There's really like hardly any consequence for doing any like illegal shit in this game. Like they really don't care. <laughs> like, get through a person off a cliff. Seemingly killed them, and uh, you know, they didn't. They didn't seem to really mind. Oh, you're giving that to me. Yeah, you're giving that to me. Hmm. I like. It wouldn't be so bad if maybe like they at least came up and said, "Hey, stop doing that. <laughs> you're not supposed to be down here." Right. And like you could be like, "Well, just wait. But just I am wait, down Billy. Here. Just wait, Billy. I'm gonna go. I'm getting. The, I'm trying to get the dumb ones out of the way. And there's a lot of dumb quests in this game. Like I said, like most of the quests." are not good. Like, I will openly acknowledge that most of them are pretty trash. Um, they, like I say, broadly speaking, boil down to fetch quests or just talking to somebody. Run here, talk to this person, or no. run here, go kill this amount and bring me back uh, their anal beads or something. Well, check this. This next quest I'm going to do, mm -hmm. we got to go into the palace at nighttime. And what does it say? Hold on. I just... Slip into the palace through the rear gate between the hours of midnight and dawn and search the Queen Regent's office for incriminating evidence. All right, so they do two quests uh, in the main story that are this exact same thing. Okay. What you're about to witness. Like, to the same person? No. Not to the same person, not to the same just the room. the same thing. Not to the same room, but, like, they might as well be the same room. Because this whole whole thing happens. Where the guard is like, oh, you're the arisen. You're supposed to sneak in. Let me show you where to go. So you're going to follow her. To a T, this is the exact same both times. So why they didn't just condense it into one quest, I don't know. Hey, I'm supposed to be showing you where to go. Why are you running ahead of me? Because I know where we're going. <clears throat> what are you, from the future? <laughs> and again... Once I get in there, I'm not supposed to be there. And then they're probably just going to be like, meh. Yeah, nobody really gives a shit. Make sure you turn off your light and all that so that nobody oh, yeah, knows you're yeah, here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I think this has got a bunch of armor in it, I think. Yep. Is it good? No. No. Oh. <laughs> it's like the soldier armor. No, oh, so it's just generic. You would think it'd be kind of decent, like, early on in the game, but I don't even think it's, like, decent. Like, nobody uses it. Okay, so we're good. We're good. Might be somebody who kind of spawns right in front of me because, no, like, that's how this game operates. But we're just going to head on up. Nobody seems to be in the, in the, uh, in the building, so I guess we'll, we'll just go. Yeah. Everyone wanted to get rained on today, apparently. All right. So we head on over here. Oh, there's the thing. Torn letter. It's pretty incriminating. Oh, no, it's Sven. No, it's He's Sven. He's the prince guy or whatever. Sven's cool. He's like a semi-main like main character, kind of. Anyway, he gives me a bunch of dialogue, and then we hear them talking outside. Mm. Mm. So then we sneak out the window. Window to the ball. Oh! So what to you just quest? witnessed? What you just witnessed right now? It was the best. They have they, they have another quest where you do literally the exact same thing. Does the kid come in and catch you? No, but like you hear people talking outside, and then you just jump out the window and leave. <laughs> Except that one's got Wilhelmina. She's the the head proprietor of the whorehouse, and she's pretty mm. cool. She's actually got like what could have been a good like backstory because if you do her quest line, um, like you find out that she's um. Half beast run and half human, which okay. is fucking cool. So then she like like her whole quest line is that she she's like a wants half breed. she's a half breed, but she wants to like get revenge on like a guy that like enslaved her parents or some shit. 
So then, like, you lure him in there, and then she fucking kills him. But, like, the reveal is cool, because then you, like, it shows her eyes, and she's got, like, one cat eye and one human eye. And it's like, that's fucking dope. That sounds like one of my Japanese animes. But then, but then, like, nothing happens after that. <laughs> she just goes away, and you, like, never see her again. And that, that whole backstory, like, doesn't get any, like, development whatsoever. Which sucks, because, like, that could have been cool. See, that's what I feel about Dragon's Dogma in general. It's just like, it's a game that has, could have been so great. It's a game that could have I agree. been great because it just missed the mark. They have like a lot of good ideas, but then like they still they do the same... Through with them. Yeah, they still do the same dumb shit that they did in the first fucking game. Like, that, I agree. Like, this game... Like, and that's how I feel. Like, I like this game. I still enjoy it. It just misses But the it, mark. like, it's, like, okay. But it's not, like, a great game. Like, they fucked up so many, like, a lot really of people, basic things. It's so dumb and frustrating. A lot of people are like, oh, this is a 10 out of 10 game. I'm nah, like, no. Nah, it's not. It's like, more like an 8, maybe it, a 7. It honestly could have been, like, really good, but they just, like... They phoned it They in, phoned so it like. in and made the same mistakes from the first game. And it's just, like, I, that's the most baffling part to me. I'm like, how the fuck do you guys do the same problems from the first game? It makes no sense. Yeah. Ugh. Sorry. Every time I play this game now, I get, I'm like fucking obviously very frustrated because it's just hey, like... Hey, I mean, I'm perfectly fine with shit-talking it. I know you are. <laughs> like, I don't... Like, and that's the thing. I don't want to shit-talk it, but, like, it's, like, you you have to be honest with yourself. Like, it's not a fucking... Like, they just made some really basic mistakes that, like, could have been easily fixed. Like, my, my solution for this is, like... And I think like, any game developer should do this. Like, um... If you're making a sequel, especially to a game that came out over a decade ago, and it's like, and it's had like a cult following ever since. Yeah, find all the flaws from the yeah, first game like and make fix them. make your dev team play the first game all the way through. Be like, play it, enjoy it, have fun with what's there, and then find out like what works and what doesn't. Because there's a lot of things in this game that don't fucking work, <laughs> and they could have very easily have been fixed, but. They didn't for some reason. I don't know. Yeah. There's just lots of... Like, when I see this game, I see its potential. Yeah. Like but I can't see high. past all of the, all the flaws that yeah. I see in it. Yeah, there's too many. There's there's too many, and then there's too many Capcom-esque things that I don't like that Capcom does. Yeah. Well, my well, like one of my biggest disappointing parts of the game is that like they had like a pretty decent setup for the story, and they fucked it they did nothing with it like I it's forgot. insane I, I forgot that chadwick uh, always looks at the ground when he yeah. runs yeah he's a fucking little chode monster <laughs> he's a little humpback <laughs> uh, what is this it's a place no i'm not i don't have the right quest going on the here. gift of quitting no uh, set his priority i want monster calling that's what i want yeah, we gotta go and uh, clear out some mancers. Mancers? Yeah. Like necromancers? No. Oh. Like that show with Adam Carolla. And Jimmy Kimmel, was it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know which one that was. It was a. Or maybe I'm thinking of The Man Show. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, The Man Show. What a dumb show. You couldn't make that now. No. <laughs> But then again, the, the view. The view. Show. I was gonna say, but then again, the view is on TV. Yeah. So I don't know. It's it's the whole like, you know, starting off the episode going zigzaggy, zaggy zigzaggy, zaggy, and then chugging a whole beer. <laughs> yeah. I remember that guy would do that every episode. <laughs> Chug a whole fucking what a beer. Fucking different time, huh? And I'm just like, this is interesting. This is stupid. Where are the girls with the big old boobies? That's what I want to see. I don't understand how they're, like, who the fuck would want to be an audience member there? 
bunch of guys looking to see the boobies. Yeah, but you can see get some boobies free. for free, man. Well, yeah. yeah. I mean, the internet was a thing at that time when that show was on. Oh, hello. But nothing's nothing's like live. But they didn't get the freak shit going on. Yeah. Nothing. Nothing's like seeing a live pair of tits. I suppose. Sure, I can look at a million uh, tits online. Oh wow! But it won't feel the same as a, a pair of tits right in front of your face. I suppose. So. Even if it's from a five out of five, or sorry, five, five out, out of ten. Five. <laughs> Even if it's a five out of ten woman. And she brings out her boobies, and like one of them is like three cup sizes too big. Yeah. You're still gonna <laughs> like those better because they're right there. Billy, really, have you uh, have you ever been to a strip joint before? No. You want to go sometime? No. There's one in Sarnia. Yeah. yeah, I know. I've been there once. It's whatever. You dropped off some pizza? No, I. We just played pool and had pop. That's oh, all we did. Okay. <laughs> and then Derek was busy off getting fucking lap dances from <laughs> and Lilith the whole night. And he's like, guys, I think she likes me, dude. <laughs> yeah, she likes your money. <laughs> Can tell you that. Oh, you ran up on me. I didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> oh, a couple of traders over there. Oh, jeez, I just shot through Chadwick's ass. <laughs> I'm trying to, like, with those Saurians, I was trying to get up in their business and, like, kick them and shit. Meanwhile, I'm a fucking archer. Like, I need to, <laughs> yeah, I need to hang, back. hang back and shoot. Oh, and they finally, they actually incorporated this into the base game now, so you don't need a mod anymore. But, you, like, you remember how I said, like, I think you could only have, like, a uh, hundred of an item in, in yeah. your storage, and then you couldn't do it anymore. Like, it would, like, stop or whatever. Yeah. They finally made it so you could, like, they raised yeah, that cap. Know. And it's like, you guys should have had that to begin with. Yeah. How much did they raise it to? I think it's 999 now. Oh. Okay. Which is fine. Like, Let's they should have just made it unlimited. Yeah, but most things, you're not going to use 999 no. times. No. Like, so now I can finally put more than uh, than 99 goblin horns in the fucking storage, as if I even need them. <laughs> but it's just like, <laughs> I don't know. Man. The Seeker's token, hell yeah. Hell yeah. I don't know. See, this part, what I'm doing right now, this is like the best part of the game, probably. is like exploring, roaming around, killing monsters. That's See, yeah, that's that where it shines. Would, that that would be where I think I would have the most fun. Is it just is chilling around it, doing this stuff. It is the most fun. I I can attest to that. That's what I had the most fun with. It's like Skyrim when I'm just going around doing whatever I want to do. Yeah, but I mean, the new Elder Scrolls is probably a suck ass. Oh, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. With how I, bad I'm, Starfield. I'm not came gonna. Out. I'm not gonna get it. Yeah. Starfield with trash. I have not played it, but I saw footage, and I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah, I can't. I, I don't want to waste do... my fucking time with that shit. Yeah, I can't. I can't go and be like, yeah. I Ow. feel. Ow. I feel like uh, wasting my time playing Ow. an Elder Scrolls game. Oh, that's the death move right there. We gotta get that fucking mage over there. Oh, I'm dead. Fucking dead, dude. Never mind. That's the dumb oh, thing too. You can up. you can heal when you're dying. Oh good. Yeah, I forgot how fucking weak I am. Jesus Christ. I'm getting fucking wrecked, dude. I don't really like playing as the archer, I'll be honest. The archer's okay once you get some better abilities and shit, but like it's just early on off. yeah, early on kinda stinks. Though, to be fair, I will say, I was getting known pretty much, even when I was first starting off as like a fighter, too. Like, you, uh, the game is kind of hard, like, at the beginning, because you're so fucking underleveled and shitty. So, in fairness, that is probably what's kind of going on here, is I'm just, like, experiencing the early game. <laughs> like, sh being shitty, <laughs> you know? Feeling the, uh, the crunch you actually having to do some work rather than just yeah spamming your attacks and oh, waiting yeah. for them to die totally <clears throat> yeah does anybody else have shit um panacea you can give that to me i don't think anybody else has anything though taylor if someone were to uh 
cook and serve up a nice placenta. Would you, uh, would you consume this placenta? No. No, I would not. I hear it's a delicacy. I know, for certain people, maybe, but... <laughs> <laughs> I thought I, I think I thought about that the other day for some fucking reason, and I'm like, that's gross that people do that. Yeah, <laughs> like I mean, it's a. I don't know that like anybody should be eating anything that comes out of the human body, but it's fucking uh, it's something like that. Anyway, it's, it's just a bunch of blood and like yeah, like there's like a bunch uh, of like n- like not good stuff in there. I yeah, bet. and people are like mm, yeah, it's delicious. I'll take it medium well. Please. I will actually have some of that child too. Oh, see, that's where I would. That's where I thrive. Right there is what is against the harpies because I got the I got the range. Yeah, you can shoot those from all the trucks. Range. You ever see those harpies' tits? Uh, not right. in this game. This game. I don't think they have tits in this one. No, though. you don't. You don't have sexy harpies in this game. Yeah. You you have the more bird than woman. Jesus! Holy Who shit! Who the fuck? Is it the pig? Oh no, it's this guy over here. That's one thing in this game too. Okay, like I was about to say earlier as well. Like my, I do have a complaint. Like there's, there are too many enemies in this game. They need to like, I think, um, space it out more. Yeah, it kind of seems like they're putting the amount of enemies you would oh. see. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't think stomping on that would kill me that quickly. <laughs> um, like in an Elden Ring or something where the game is trying to just throw a bunch of enemies at you. What the fuck is that noise? I hear it. It sounds like a wyvern. Yeah, what the fuck is that? It's not a wyvern. It's not, that ain't what it is. Is it? Is it Unless a, it is, and I'm fucked. <laughs> Oh, it is. No, no, it's a griffin. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's a griffin. I don't really think I should fuck with the griffin right now. No. Nah. You ah! still not have a good time fighting. Ah! Even ah! though you got a bow. Ah! <laughs> Can you tell I'm scared? <laughs> Wouldn't it be cool if you could play this game as the creatures? No. I don't think so. And then you could attack people? Oh, no! <laughs> Jesus Christ! Wolfpack! <laughs> We're gonna fucking die. <laughs> so what ah, I- God damn it, no! <laughs> don't imagine that God actually damn it. happening. Just this getting terrible. fucking ganked by a wolf. The wolf drags you off as you're fighting it. And then, right when you're about to escape, a griffin fucking falls down and drops on top of you guys. And no, 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 just, no, 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 he fell off the Bye bye. Let's <laughs> fucking kill himself. Why did he do that? Alright, he's flying away. We're good, we're good. We're good. <laughs> that was some wild shit that just happened. Like, where did he go? <laughs> well, the Brian took him. The Brian took him. Uh oh. No, no, not dealing with that. There you go. Yeah, Chad. Wait. Wait. You got anything good? How about just a tooth? Yeah. Give me that tooth. Here you go. Into the brow. <clears throat> All right. Let me help these fools out, and then we're going to call it an episode. But I do have to. I do have to stop at a fucking uh, campsite here because I'm almost dead. <laughs> Why are uh, these men attacking these goblin traders? I, I think it's the other way around, but <laughs> but I, I know what you're doing. Just like in the first game, goblins are misunderstood. That's a human. That's a yeah. But my man. but I've got my. Arrows are uh, aware of friendly fire. So <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. You can indiscriminately shoot. I can indiscriminately shoot, exactly. Well said. Yeah. Will you it gave go me $3,000. Thank you. Did will you it give go me through your then? allies, or will it just stop at them? I don't know. I'll go through them. Yeah. Trade my mind is the disturbance. 
Shut up. Yeah, I do need to camp though. What's in tree wall? Oh, no. that's my next objective. Oh, okay. Because I gotta. So right now, like, to like assuage or like to try to convince people that I am the true sovereign of the nation, which I am, because I'm the true arisen, right? He wants me to go and just like quell some monster infestations to that. inspire hope. Look at that tomahawk. What's with Capcom and doing like cooking shit? Yeah. I don't know, but I love it. <laughs> like, the cooking animations in Monster Hunter are, like, some of the best things I've ever seen. Like, I know... I know in Japan, uh, they love to, like, visualize their, uh... their cooking and, like, anime and stuff. Yeah. But it's just weird to, like, see a live-action version of it. I know. I think, like, in it's part... Cool. I, like I, I think in part they were lazy... But I kind of think it works. Yeah. Like, in that case, it kind of is fun. I don't know. I can I can party with that part of it. It's a bit weird, because it, it takes weird. you out of the... Uh, yeah, it is weird, but... It takes you out of the world to see a live action... <laughs> yeah, I remember, you know. I remember when I first saw it, I'm like, what? Why the fuck did they do that? All right, next time on Chance, we cook more steak. We figure out why the fuck they did that. Yeah.